we're going to be going over some tips and tricks to make better looking exterior houses for your RPG Maker maps. And stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you my top three clutter items that I like to place around the houses to make the maps look even better. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials and just general discussion about RPG Maker then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. One of the biggest issues I find with a lot of RPG Maker maps in the community is they lack proportion. So you'll have a look at this house right here. Compared to this small character that's roaming around, this house is incredibly out of proportion. Even though the RTP offers these sorts of tiles, we probably shouldn't stick to it. So moving on to our first house, I'm going to show you how to do a standard house in proportion to the character. We're going to go over to the A tile and just grab any of these wood tiles and we're going to make it three across. Then we're going to grab a roof tile, I'll go with the thatch, and we're going to make that two high. Already that's looking much better in proportion to the character. Moving over to the B tile, we're going to grab this here, which is a doorway. And then we're just going to grab two windows like this and add a chimney. Now already you can see this house is much more in proportion to the character. This sort of exterior design is the standard house I'd use in most of my games that I create. It's probably the one you'll see the most of. But moving forward from here, we'll go to a standard two-story house. For a two-story house, we just want to do the same thing, make that three across. And then we're going to go up like that. Still sticking with two roof tiles. And we just want to put a door in here. Now again we'll add some windows with flowers this time. And some more up the top. Just for a final touch, another little chimney. And now you have a standard two-story house. Moving on from here, we're going to do another two-story house. So we just want to grab the brick tile this time. One, two, three. Then we're going to do one for the roof. We're going to go back over to the bricks. And do another one. And then for the roof, we're just going to do two. And then still go over, grab your door and your windows, and the chimney. Here are the three standard houses that you can use to make up your RPG Maker maps. Now we're going to do one more two-story house over here. So what we want to do is go three, and then above that we want to do a roof tile that looks like this. Then we want to bring back over to the bricks, another three, and then down one. Now you'll notice that up here it's treating these like the very bottom of a wall, when really the top of a wall shouldn't have that bottom skirting. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another wall that's three tiles long, right click and drag across, then hold shift and paste it there. Then we're just going to grab the roof and finish that off. Then like with the other houses, make way for the door, the windows and a chimney. Now we're going to move on to some more complicated ones. If you go over to the C tile and scroll all the way down you'll see you have these roof tops. So a standard one you can do is we'll grab this, paste it into the map, put a wall tile underneath it, then doors and windows. A variation on this that I like to do is we grab this one here, grab the top middle tile, move it across one, and then complete it all the way around. Then grab your wall tiles, three across the bottom, one over here, and then finish that up with your doors and your windows. Still using our sea tile roofs, we're going to make an even bigger house now. So we'll use the blue roof, and this time instead of coming over one, we want to come over two, and then finish it up. We're going to place a wall down, one, two, three, one, two, and then up here, we're going to do one, two, three, go back over to sea, grab the front of this roof, paste it in, grab the back of this roof and paste it in. And we'll finish it up by adding the doors and windows. Now the last sort of house design we're going to build is what I like to call an estate house. This is going to be a four-story house using the roof tiles from the C-Tab. And it's going to be using a lot of the shift-click tricks. So first, what we want to do is go over to the C-Tile and grab our roof. Firstly, we're just going to paste the bottom of the roof. Then we're going to grab this side tile and go up two. Then we're going to grab the top left of the roof tiles and paste it in. Then the top one. And then this middle part we're just going to fill in down here. We're going to grab the right hand corner tile, place that there. We're going to grab the middle tile over here for the roof and paste that across three times. One, two, three. Bring this all the way across and then reverse it. So we're going to grab this end tile, front tiles here corner tile, side to side, and then fill in the middle. And that's going to be the roof for the first story of our estate house. Moving over to the walls, what you want to do is grab this one with the pink roof here, grab this wall tile underneath it, and just take it down too. Then what we want to do is over to the side here somewhere, bring it down too, right click and hold to select that, and then we want to shift click it over here. So one, two, one, two, 
one, two. And it gives this very pillaresque feeling to the map. You've got these support beams holding the house up. Now on the roof here, using the same tile, we're going to go five across, one, two, three, four, five, and again just two up, so another five across here. Using the same shift click trick, we're going to hold right click over here, drag up and release right click, so we've copied that. We're going to hold shift and then click once on this side, once on that side, and then once in the middle. And then for the roof, we'll head back over to the C tile, left hand side, right hand side, drag the top across, drag the bottom across, and add the middle tile. Now it's time for the decorations. So obviously we're going to need a door. We're going to have some flowers for the windows on left side, right side of the door, and then some green herbs on the left and right side of the building. Then what I like to do is have the standard window above those two. And up above these two windows, I'll have a hinging window. And then for the top floor, flowers for the bottom, herbs for the top. And as a final touch, we'll add a chimney up here and a chimney down here. And there we have an estate house, huge in proportion to your character. Now if you want to make this look even better, we can add a hedge just along the outside using an auto tile. So come back over to the A tiles, grab the top of this hedge, and just run it around the outside. And there we have an estate house with a nice hedge around it. Now before I get into my top three clutter items, if you guys are enjoying this video, then scroll down and hit the like button. It really helps get my video out to more people. And if you have any questions or tutorials that you'd like me to create, then leave a comment down below and I'll make sure I get to them. Now going back to the first house we created, what I'm going to do is show you my top three favorite clutter items. So the first one is a tree and how I like to do it is I grab this four tile tree over here and I grab the top two tiles and I place it above the house like this. Then I grab the bottom right hand tile and place it like that. And now what it looks like is that there's a tree growing behind the house. You can do this for the other side as well if you want. You can have a tree here like that and have it look like there are trees behind the house. You can do it for the single tile trees as well. You can have a tree here and a tree here to make it look like the trees are behind the house. Moving on, just above the trees we've got a stack of firewood. Simply storing it in front of the house like this gives this little cottage a more homely feel. Right beside the house in an alleyway, I like to just have a barrel. Who knows what they're storing in there? Doesn't matter. It's a fun little clutter item that you can use as a block so people can't walk up the alleyway. You could even hide an item in there like a potion or an antidote or a bottle of mead. And just real quickly to go with this tree up here, scrolling down we've got these fallen leaves and we can just add that as clutter around the house. So I'm just going to quickly speed through around all of these houses, adding these different clutter elements, and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. There we go, we've only added three different clutter elements, which is the trees and leaves, the barrels and the firewood, and already this small little town is starting to develop a bit of character. Now that was only three different things, you could add more, you could add grass, flowers, many different clutter elements to your town to make it look a lot better than this, but this is my top three to make your towns look better. Now scrolling down to the estate, let's see what we can do over here in regards to clutter. First of all, I'm noticing this hedge is a little off because the hedge ends right here, so I'm just going to shift click and fix that up right there. Moving over to the entryway, what I think I'm going to do is have these stones. There we go, and then you can have a path leading from the town all the way around to the estate. Now there were some really nice flower tiles that I'm just going to use either side of the door here. And I might add some trees just around the back. We'll add a stack of firewood out the left, and next to that we're going to add a tree stump to make it look like that's the chopping block. That's where they cut the firewood for the estate house. We'll fill in some leaves around the place, of course. Left hand side can be where the crates and barrels are. Add these two little sign tiles to make it look like there's a gate inwards. Not to mention a sign out the front. As well as some trees out the front, that would work as well. And there we go, I think that's a very nice looking estate house. 
again with very minimal clutter added around the outside of it to make it look better. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, scroll down, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified when I post up my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next video.